our greatest objective here at Daniel Payne Legacy Village is to create an atmosphere to allow people to become all that God would have them to become. The Daniel Payne Legacy Village was formed with the purposes of developing the former Daniel Payne College properties. We are looking to deepen our relationships uh, with our city, our county, and our state, public and private organizations uh, and individuals who will come into the vision that we presently have for this area. Uh, thereafter, we have galvanized our community and, and galvanized the leaders involved. Uh, we look to begin the process of developing the land. We are hoping to have single family houses, townhouses, and affordable houses built on that land with an anchor grocery store as well as other supporting stores for the residents of those homes. And it is attached to the oldest African-American Christian organization in the country. We were founded in 1816, it's 2022. We have a long legacy of improving low and moderate income communities and assisting, helping, developing, growing people of color. This is more than a subdivision. We are more than bricks. Though this process is a brick by brick process, we are more than bricks. The, the ministry is moving uh, beyond what we do to the people are catching on and sharing. This is not just a Daniel Payne Legacy board project, but it's a project that consists of all the people that's a part of the AME Church in the state of Alabama. They give, they make gigantic sacrifices, they do so many outstanding ministries in the different parts of the state. Uh, when the Civil Rights Movement came about, they believed in their hearts. If we could do it here, we can do it anywhere. And that's how we still feel presently in 2022. What's coming out of the South is this passion from us. It's this confidence that we have overcome so many things. We overcome the heat in the summer. And if you can overcome Alabama South heat, you can overcome quite a few things. We are hoping to meet the needs of those who need affordable housing and those who need upward mobility in order to get better jobs. And those who have attained that level would also feel comfortable living in the community. This is a beacon that we are sounding off here in the South as a representation of what the future can hold, not only here in Birmingham, but anywhere in the United States.